My name is Ru Hasanov and I was born in Baku, Azerbaijan in 1987, April 24th, if anyone is interested in the specifics of my biography. I didn't even know that I was going to be a filmmaker when I entered, um, when I applied and ended up going to um, Bates College. It's uh, my alma mater. The, it's a school that I graduated and um, in 2009. Anyway, I'm really bad at giving this whole biographical hoo-ha. Well, I think that cinema, the art of cinema, it can only be um, it can only be an author's perspective. It can only be author cinema, and everything else is business, which is not bad. If you want to do a an epic war film or a sci-fi or a fantasy, then I guess yes, of course, the budget is detrimental. It's crucial and extremely important. But if you want to do a smaller story, I mean, just imagine I'm not giving out an interview. Imagine you're still holding a camera and I'm your actor and I'm sitting like this and staring out of the window. And of course, I don't have these shades on. I'm like, you know, and my haircut is like different. So I'm like, you know, this uh, depressed actor, like an art house film, like whatever. Then of course, I mean, um, I think that it's definitely doable. You can make a film for a smaller amount of money and I proved it to myself, at least, um, by making my uh, first feature film with my friend Elvina de Gazal. The, um, yeah, it's, I mean, we, we made a film, we shot something for $10,000 and we spent another $10,000 on post-production. So $20,000 and you can make a film. I'm, I'm, I'm dead sure you can do that. Mm -hmm. Apparently there is some sort of like a car crash there. Yeah, something bad happened. So yeah, I mean, it depends on what kind of filmmaking we're talking about, but if, if you, it depends on your desire. If you're really, if you're dying to make a film, then you can definitely make it for a no budget. That's, that's doable, that's possible. In terms of Chameleon, the first feature film that, as I said, I co-directed with my friend Elvin, um, I was employed by a television channel in Moscow and I came back for the holidays to spend some time with my friends and family. Um, and I met an old friend of mine and I told him about my plans and interest in filmmaking and I mean at, at that point I already made a bunch of short films and I sort of had moderate success. Um, at various film festivals, but nothing, nothing too serious. But so I told him that I uh, I have the story in mind that I really want to make, and that I needed some money. And of course, I was drunk. That's why I said that I needed only ten thousand dollars for it. Um, and he ended up giving me ten thousand dollars, and that's what we. That was our budget. That was our production budget. Um, so, needless to say, there was no screenplay. There was, I mean, there was a screenplay, but it was very different from what ended up being Chameleon. Elvin had um, a story of his own, I had a story of my own, and we combined it and we improvised a lot. We went to uh, Gerichai, a small town in, in, in Azerbaijan, and um, we just uh, talked to the local population and they gladly helped us uh, with the logistics and with acting in it. I mean, 90% of our actors were non-professional actors. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. It was, it was very uh, impulsive. Uh, and we shot the whole thing in like six days. Um, yeah, so I guess sometimes crazy things happen.